AI is the big thing for personal productivity and business in 2025. And throughout the last two years, you and I have looked through all kinds of AI tools and technologies and platforms, but we have completely skipped out on one of the biggest markets out there. That is the mobile platform or basically the app store. And that is mobile or apps. And in this video, I'm going to show you a platform where you can build end to end ready for production iOS and Android apps. And you can do all of that with AI with no coding experience. So mobile or mobile phones is one of the big platforms out there. We're talking billions and billions of users in a market that is ripe for disruption with AI. Now, mobile is also one of the things that a lot of people don't focus on. And so if we think about the rise of vibe coding over the past few years, nearly everyone there focuses that on web apps or web applications or websites that are built with AI. But much less people, many fewer people are doing that on the mobile side. And so I think there is some more opportunity there, even in just taking what has worked on the web app side and translating that over onto the mobile platform side. That said, we're going to use the famous.ai platform for this video as the no-code AI builder. Famous.ai is what they call a synthetic intelligence platform that builds production-ready apps across three different verticals. So web applications, native mobile apps, and crypto projects with built-in smart contracts. And so what makes Famous.ai different is that it's handling the entire pipeline from concept to deployment. We're not talking about generating some messy code that you then have to debug for hours. Famous.ai analyzes your prompt, crafts custom designs tailored to your vision, and builds completely working, fully functional apps. So that's with authentication, databases, all the features that you need in minutes with no code experience needed. Now for mobile specifically, you're getting native iOS and Android apps that feel like they were built by Apple or Google themselves. You can publish directly to the App Store and the Play Store. You get native performance, push notifications, offline support, and here's the kicker, one-click updates to already published apps. And that is why we're using Famous.ai for this video. So if you want to iterate or add features lately, just because you can't code doesn't mean you can't do that. You can continue to upgrade your app over time using AI on the Famous.ai platform. Now the code itself is clean and modular. It follows all best practices and it actually scales. So this is production ready code, production grade software, not a prototype. And again, the best part is you don't need to know how to code to do absolutely any of this. Now that said, you learn best by doing. So if you want to follow along along with the exact demos and walkthroughs that we're going to walk through, no pun intended, in this video, then you can try Famous.ai out. Just create an account and just run through it while I'm running through it in this video with you. You can do that by heading to this link on the screen or hit that link in the description. So if you have an idea right now, you can go sign up completely for free and build your app while we're building an app in this video. Let's get into the build. Okay, now if you watch this channel, you know that when we're using AI tools and using them to create various things, we want to do it with AI end to end just for the sake of demonstration because we can and we couldn't do that a year or two ago. So I'm going to jump over to ChatGPT. I think we were just using this for a different video if you've seen that one. And what I'll say is give me 10 practical app ideas that are useful, solve a micro kind of point problem that people face and I can monetize easily. So we want to focus on apps that we can commercially develop. And let's just go ahead and see what GPT says. Okay, so just a first glance here, I do like the idea of a parking finder and timer, water reminder and gamification. I like that. That is a pretty cool one. Uh, certainly useful uh, health-wise for a lot of people. Micro learning flashcards, that is great as well. So I say for our three ideas, we're gonna do micro learning flashcards, a water reminder with gamification, and then a parking finder and timer as well. So now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this ChatGPT prompt, I'm gonna go paste it into famous.ai. And what I'll say is I want a mobile app build in the bottom right here. That's important. 
and I'll say app idea. And I do want to turn on genius mode here since that throws essentially more compute at the problem. Okay, so genius mode is on. We're switching to mobile app and let's go. Okay, so you can see the first thing that the app is going to do is create a full on plan. So it creates a design vision right here, typography, the core functionality, and then it goes ahead and starts using all these specialized models. So a text to image model, a design model, a thinking or reasoning model, and it's gonna pull those together to start building the app in the background. And we can switch between code editor right here in our preview mode for the mobile app right here. Okay, and we can see right here a little status update, the fully functional React Native app looks like it's being built. And if we did want this for the Apple iOS store, which we'll do on the other builds, we do want this in Swift as well. Okay, so here is the first app. We can see this in the little preview section. So never lose your car again. Pin your location, set reminders, find your car instantly. And it looks like we can see our active parking uh, under features. Uh, we have free features, so reminders, pin location, and navigation. This is actually pretty useful. This is something I think could be a solid app. What I don't like about it currently. It looks like these features work. It's just the design. Uh, it looks kind of childish to, to me and there's things like the index at the top. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, say work on the design. I want this to look professional and modern with and especially work on the header. Now you can also see that it gives me suggestions of what it could build or add to the app here. So user auth, real GPS integration, payment processing, that is things we need to do to actually fill out the features of the app. But let's start with the UI and then we'll get into the additional features. Okay, so here's the revised landing page. I like this a lot more for sure. There's a few kind of small changes that we want to see here and it looks like the time little feature is broken. Uh, but the design here is superb, I think. We can head over to features. This looks good. Pricing looks good as well. And history as well. So what I'm going to say is uh, fix the time remaining button. What I'll also do, I'm just going to screenshot what isn't working. I'll upload that right there. And then I'm also going to tell it to just remove the little, uh, remove the transparent rectangle shape around the update location button. And let's feed it that. Okay, so you can see that the little rectangle issue was fixed there. That looks perfect and the time remaining works as well because that number will go up once you actually start a session. So all we need to do now is actually integrate the location services. So this is going to add on the back end actual GPS location tracking without me having to code, which is pretty cool. Okay, that said, the GPS location accuracy is fully set up, we're good to go. Now what we can do is deploy this first app. I'm gonna click publish right here, and this will literally go and submit this to the app store immediately. We do that, we're pretty much done, right? So there's a few ways to do that. There's Google Cloud account, uh, which is free for Android. Now the Apple side of things, you do have to pay a little bit for. What I'm gonna go ahead and say is just, I have a Google Play Console account. We're gonna deploy this to Android and then we're gonna deploy one other app, a different app to the Apple developer account. Okay, so I'm gonna select, I have all four of these accounts. I can use a app icon that is generated. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we're on to app idea number two. I turned on genius mode, click in mobile app, and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, here is app number two. This is a really fun one. Uh, it looks like we have a, a kind of a plant that grows over time as we add more uh, water that we've drunk. We have stats right here. Uh, and then plants with different rewards also for the achievements that you can unlock and then plants 
uh, that grow over time and you get additional plants with premium. Now, I really like the kind of achievement in the plant structure here. So that's awesome. What I don't like is milliliters instead of cups. So what I want to say is switch ml to cups because people are much more familiar with cups. So we want to frame the goal that way. Um, I also don't like the top bar here again. Improve the header bar. Looks bad right now. And make sure plants plants have no background images. Right now, there's that little white background there. So I'm going to give it those three improvements, and we'll see what comes out there. OK, so we can see that the plants have been created with now no background image. That looks a lot better. And we can see cups right here. So you can quick add one cup, two cup, three cups of water we're aiming for our eight cups per day. I wanna keep this one simple, to be honest. I like these emojis a lot more. That looks awesome right there. What we wanna do right now is just integrate the payment side of it. So integrate payment features. Once we do that, we are good to launch. Now I selected Stripe to be integrated. So that's the build that we're going to continue with. Okay, so on this demo Stripe account, I've copied the publishable key. That's just a code you need to publish on any payment platform or just connect via an API. I'm gonna paste that in here and click submit. And then we're going to be able to have actual payments integrated in the app. Okay, so Stripe is successfully implemented. We can now accept payments on this app by upgrading to premium right here and starting that free trial. That'll open a Stripe checkout portal in the app. And that said, we are good to publish here as well and deploy the app. And app idea number three, micro learning, flashcards. Let's get the build. Okay, here's app number three. This one is my personal favorite by far. This just looks so good, right? Learn something new in five minutes. Replace mindless scrolling with bite-sized learning. Uh, start learning for free. Five-minute commitment, 95% retention rate. This is pretty awesome. You can see the animation on the screen here as well. And this was all done with one prompt. So I think th this is 100% my favorite so far. Uh, it's kind of a landing page style feel here. And then under decks, we have everything that was again completely one-shotted one prompt for this financial literacy world capitals and it looks like this was actually built out right we can go ahead and select the different cards here so that's awesome and we can see our progress uh, i think all we need to do here is just add some like fill out the features really because i think some of the features like user auth weren't fully uh built out so Let's just say do next, user auth, and honestly, we might be good to go after that. We might have just one-shotted this, uh, this full-on app. So this is where some of the integrations come in. So what this app does is it connects to Supabase, which is an authentication platform for the backend. And it does that for you is the really nice thing. So what we can do, we can go over to Supabase and then to access tokens. And that's what this looks like. I'll click generate a new token and we'll call that famous.ai. I'll generate that token. Then I'll go ahead and copy that token and I will paste it over here. And now just with that, it's going to set up the whole super base of backend for me, which is how you do, again, authentication, login, and database storage, like file storage, that kind of thing. And I'm going to create a new super base uh, database. And there we go, it is setting up the database. Okay, so we have a fully integrated backend now on this app. Again, I think this looks awesome. We actually have language, finance, geography, technology, decks all built out here with the profile and everything set up. And now we can sign in and you can see here, we can go ahead and actually create an account, sign in, track our progress and so on. I think this is ready to go into production. The last thing that we need to do is just create more decks. So what I'm gonna say is, nice, now go ahead and fill out the app's content base with many more great decks.
and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it looks like another 20 decks have been added here now. We can scroll through here. We have the basics from last time. French Essentials, German Starter Pack, more language, Japanese, Italian, biology, chemistry, physics. There's a whole lot here. And again, I mean, I think this, this is awesome. This could be something. And we're going to publish it in just a second. And again, so you can see what this actually looks like. I can click Start Learning. Hello. Hola. Thank you. Como estas? Now, if we come over here, we're going to publish this one as well. Now, I want to very briefly touch on the marketing side of this. So you have your app and that's all the build stuff that we covered. How do you go about actually marketing and growing it? Now, there are a lot of channels out there that are focused purely on marketing your app 100%. Go watch those. I am not by any means the expert in this domain. I do want to point out two things. So first, what we talk about on this channel a lot is the system of marketing and how to approach that. You can see some videos on the screen here. You can go watch those. They're great resources for that kind of high level. How should you approach marketing once you have your app or your business? Now, number two, you can run paid ads and directly tie them into apps. So what you can do is you can take the pixel code or the tracking code for platforms like Google ads or Facebook ads, and then you can tie that into the actual code of your apps, and then you can track conversion events. And so you can actually optimize your ads based on the kind of results that they actually get. So I 100% recommend at the very least during this build, when you're building the ad, make sure to include pixel codes from the ad platforms so that once you get to marketing, you can actually run paid ad campaigns as part of your marketing efforts. And again, go watch those resources on YouTube. I'll link some channels that I like personally on this front in the description. And that pretty much is the whole process from your idea to actually building the app to then actually marketing it. So you've now seen famous.ai build native iOS and Android apps and do all of that with no code needed. And you saw those other features that we talked about throughout this video. Now, again, if anything stood out for you, you can bring one of your ideas to life or start a business today. You can do that by heading to famous.ai or click the link in the description. You can get started completely for free. So whether you want to launch your first app or you're a seasoned developer looking to scale faster or just get more done personally, this is the way to do it. This is the next generation of Vibe mobile coding. That's a term now. And genuinely, this is the best tool for this kind of thing in my experience, which is why we're using it for this video. So again, make sure to head to this link on the screen or the link in the description. And that said, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.